Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can implement a sample page to demonstrate your models via ActorCore. By using Accurig's new features, it's easier than ever now to upload and embed your animated characters to a website. On the ActorCore website, you can follow along by clicking on the Learn From Samples button. Here you can see an example of a character interacting with web components. Another example of an animated character integrated into an illustrated background. And there's also a scenario where your character can change to multiple poses according to your preset buttons. You can also use this to play animations as well. Let's take a look at the first sample scenario where we're going to use this character that was uploaded from Accurig. Once your character is rigged, you can search for and utilize any of the biped motions in the entire actor core library. If you add loop to the search field, you'll be presented with infinitely loopable motions. You can add the motion to your motion list and go in to edit the camera perspective according to how you want to integrate it into your page. In this case, hanging from a settings window. Take a snapshot to save your current view and choose an atmospheric setting, then hit save. From there, under share actor, make sure you set the embed settings to shared and choose the UI overlay, background and camera lock settings according to your preference. Generally, you'll want to hide the UI and have a transparent background in this scenario. From there, you can copy the embed code and paste it to the sandbox page to test it out with various website parameters. Let's take a look at the next sample now, which has a character moving across the screen. Here I've just found a run where the character goes back and forth as you saw on the website previously. With motions like this, use the follow cam to ensure that your character stays in the preview window. Next, in the viewer, I'll once again get a good camera angle and save current view. As with the previous example, I can choose a suitable lighting atmosphere, use the same embed settings, and test it out in the sandbox page. You'll want to be aware of how the shadow is cast from your character due to the lighting in your atmosphere settings. Okay, let's move on to the final example now, which utilizes multiple motions in the same embed code. Here I'm just searching for a number of related motions that I think will look good on my main character here. Once I've added the multiple motions to the list, I can edit their position via clicking and dragging. This will determine how they appear in the embed code. To capture a pose, simply scrub to the frame that you want to capture and then use the Capture Pose button. After that, you'll have an additional pose item in your motion list, and you can remove the original motion if you no longer need it. I've ended up now with three different poses and two motions in my list. This time in the embed settings, I want to disable the rotation lock so that viewers can orbit around the character while it's posed. I'll also enable the control overlay that will allow the viewer to choose which pose or motion they would like to view. Naturally, you'll want to modify the embed code slightly to assign these controls to actual HTML buttons on your website, and camera movement can also be assigned to mouse control as well. Those are just a few examples of how you can use this feature from the ActorCore site to share your model. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.